Hi everyone, Martin here again. Now those of you who use YouTube may have noticed that there's been a little change with their channel design recently. Now, to customise your YouTube background has normally created a big problem for certain people because you normally had to uh, get someone to create a template for you. That normally costs money or you've got to know how to use Photoshop to do that sort of thing. And when you did actually install your new template in the old uh, YouTube theme, you could only basically see around the edge. The only way you could really get a professional looking YouTube channel is if you was a YouTube partner where they allow you to have certain links and various other things. But creating a YouTube channel with a generic background was always pretty bland and you couldn't really see the outside or the background which you'd loaded up to it. YouTube have changed their channel display now and in turn they've given you the option to a few more different tools within your control panel to edit your channel background. So first of all, you can upload an image as you could do before, but let's just take a look over at the YouTube channel. I'll show you my YouTube channel and just show you what you can actually do to improve your background. Okay, so here we are now on my YouTube channel, and what I'm gonna show you now is how to uh, get your background a lot more presentable as opposed to what it used to be. So if I just show you uh, where to do this if you go to themes and colors on your once you've signed into your channel and Again, you can shoot you can choose the color scheme of your, your actual channel But you go to the show advanced options tab click on that Now this is where it gives you the opportunity to actually add a background image which you can see around the edge of my uh, YouTube channel then and normally as I said you can only uh, see around the background so whatever image you, up, you uploaded you, you basically couldn't see it basically because of all your boxes and various things as you can see on the screen there now you choose your background image off your PC so you click browse and then put the image in there and then you click on the put a little tick in the box uh, on the repeat background box and you'll find that the image will actually go right around the whole page basically now this is where it gets interesting which you couldn't do before for example, if I go to the uh, background transparency, I've set mine at 50% at the moment. But just to show you, if I put it to none, that was what my channel used to look like. Or put the other one to none as well. Look, there's two transparencies you can use. Put that to none. So that is basically what my channel used to look like. And as you can see, the background image, you, you can barely see it. It is there, it's round the edge. But most people with a personalised background normally got it so you can see a lot more but you was limited to what you can do so by altering the transparency first of all that I like to take the, um, the this transparency the wrapper transparency I'll take that right off and as you see that takes that sort of border around off and then the transparency for the background which is on none at the moment I'm going to take that to a hundred percent first of all just to show you what happens so if I use that one to a hundred it takes all your colored boxes away and you just purely see your background underneath all the items now that can be a bit too much for your eye so to speak if you've got a very patterny background so what you basically can do then is just play about with the transparency I've moved mine to let's say nine, uh, 80 let's say 80 and as you can see you can, it puts the shadow back of your box basically of what you was taken away so at least you get some sort of definition there you can even take it down even further let's say 30% See there again, it's sort of the transparency, more of the colour showing through now, but you can still see through to my background image, which is the stars. So it's a matter of personal preference, but as I said to you, this is a great way now in YouTube for you to personalise your channel with an image on the background and, and have it showing through uh, a lot more than what you used to be able to do before. 